Hi, this is Aline, um, and this is my fourth garden tour. And once this was, is done, you will have seen all of my current gardens. Uh, this was the first one I put in this year. Um, it's in ground, or it was supposed to be in ground. Uh, things didn't work out exactly the way I planned, um, and I'll just have to show you. Um, it's not an ugly garden, but it's not exactly doing what I had hoped. So uh, let's turn around and look at it. Um, yeah, this garden has taught me that growing in the ground is not really for me. Uh, I just can't keep up with the weeds. I can deal with them, you know, one bed at a time. This just goes went wild. And I, I just can't. Um, also, things are not growing as well as I thought they would in the ground. Um, this is a cabbage that was from the same six pack as the ones in the front. And, and it's doing okay. I mean, it looks nice, but it really, truly has a teeny tiny head. So I don't think that's um, really going to be much of anything. The lettuce was supposed to be shaded by the cucumbers which really haven't grown much um, they're bolting the lettuce the cucumbers are blooming but not yet really producing fruit so that's been a disappointment um, it's very buggy out here um, lots of fungus uh, that tomato was the first one I planted this year and it is uh, just over a foot tall and the ones on the deck are three feet tall don't know um, but what I have done and had some success in is is this it's a method of growing that I learned on YouTube um, stacking planters um, so you know basically you water the one on top and it feeds the rest of them and you know where your water is going it's going straight into the to the pot um, you don't have to worry about in the ground where the water is going. Uh, the little pot is carrots and they seem to be doing okay still. Um, the second, the bottom, the tote, um, it, the, um, the holes drilled in the bottom, also in the side, um, to let the water out but also to let worms come in. So the, the bottom layer inside of the tote is sticks. The next layer is uh, shredded paper. The next layer is soil, and then a layer of kitchen scraps, a layer, and then a layer of topsoil, or good potting soil. Um, I did not plant this. I composted in my kitchen scraps squash. So this is where the squash plants came from that I moved up into the green stalk. Uh, I don't remember if this one is yellow squash or zucchini. It's one of the two. <laughs> Um, these are all volunteers. If anyone wants some, they're still available to, um, to transplant. I'd be happy to give some away because I do not need this much squash. Um, I planted a basil that's actually doing pretty well over here uh, between that tomato and that tomato, which are this exact same age, and neither one of them are doing well. So. Um, we don't get as much sun back here. Uh, you'll probably notice that we're in the shade. Um, but it does get sun in the early part of the day and quite a bit. So um, these are just planted within the last week. Um, these are all potatoes. Um, so far, we've got a lot of sprouting going on, but no leaves yet. I'm still waiting. We'll see what happens. Um, these are the Noir de Carme melons. I planted these first. Um, the other thing about, you know, there's act, there are actually three in here, which is probably too many, uh, along with a pot of tarragon that's sitting inside, which I may take out soon. Um, this is borage. It's doing spectacularly well. So the system works. Uh, stuff grows, and clearly I didn't plant anything in here that's gonna uh, just 
grow like the squash. <laughs> we'll see. Um, this is a squash plant that I planted on purpose. Um, it's a small yellow, you can probably see it down there, it's a small yellow zucchini. I'm not 100% sure they're getting properly um, pollinated down there. It may be too low, There's the dirt, is, the dirt level is quite low here in this one. And so I don't know if that's going to be a success, but it's, you know, it's, a tr it's trying. Oops, wind chimes. Um, lemon balm, also doing really well. Uh, that's a hyacinth bean that Stephanie Hughes gave me. It's finally growing up on the fence. It's really ornamental. Um, it won't make much in the way of any kind of edible fruit. Sorry, the bugs out here are bad. That's another problem. Um, I planted peas in this hanging pot just for to see what would happen. And hey, there are peas. There's one, there's one pea. Uh, it's almost ready to pick, we'll see. Um, so that's this side of the garden. Um, there's some little, um, those are the teeny, those are um, cauliflower. Um, that one is a bok choy. They were all transplanted here, they're not thriving, the one, that I transplanted into the front garden. The cauliflower is much bigger. Um, looks like some of the cucumbers might be starting on these plants. Let's see what happens. And this is bok choy that bolted. I mean, clearly it's blooming. So even before it got big enough to really do anything with it, just it's gone to seed. That's something we'll try again in the spring. I mean, in the fall, when it's um, it's a cool weather crop. It needs to be done in a different time. Uh, these are runner beans, uh, Kentucky bluegrass. There is one cucumber in in this pot. It's doing better because it's not in the ground. That's my only the only difference. It actually was the weakest of the four cucumber plants. And I stuck it in there thinking, well, you know, it needs extra help. But it's the only one that's got fruit on it right now. I have decorated this area with wind chimes and hanging baskets. Thought about a hummingbird feeder, but then I wasn't sure it was a good idea. So I took it back down when it was time to change the sugar water. So these are totes along the back. That one's holding rainwater which I'm going to have to dump soon or it's going to get mosquitoes. This one was supposed to just be uh, sunflowers, which there are two that are, you know, growing. And those are all volunteer squash. Um, it is either uh, zucchini or yellow squash. Uh, I said one is one and the other one is the other. I don't know which is which. Um, this is bee balm that I took out of my... Uh, the, the, uh, the current asparagus bed and it is wasn't sure it was going to make it but it is actually starting to flower and so this one is a dark pink anyway that's the that's the last of my garden beds um, here's the dogs it's it's 84 degrees at uh, 7 30 at night and it's, uh, I can tell my screen is a little humid. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you all this so that I can start updates because all of the other garden beds have, have really started to do things interesting. Um, but I wanted to get through all of the garden space before I showed you what's changed. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.